So now we are going to create a Firebase project and uh, we will configure it, how to configure Firebase project. So let's start. First of all, I will add my project name. After that, I can continue. Click on continue. Continue. You can select a default configuration. Uh, sorry, configure Google Analytics account. So it will be always default. Let's click on create project. It will take some minor time. So let's wait. After creating a project, let's click on continue. Now, for we must have to create a web application. So I'm clicking on this icon and register your web application. So you can add any name of your web application. Register your app. Okay, after creating a web application, Firebase will give you necessary all the credentials which can be used in the Laravel uh, configuration env file which, uh, which is admin panel, web panel or any store panel or whatever we will provide you. So this is the very useful for every each and every panel's uh, configuration in the env file. Okay, so let's save. Uh, this credential and after that we must have to create a database URL which I will show you how to create a database URL click on continue to console okay in the dashboard first of all uh, expand this build section and go to real-time database here we will create a database URL create database You can choose any uh, database location, but we will always use the default location. Click on next. You can choose the mode of your database. We will always uh, select start in local mode and enable it. It will give you, uh, give you a, a database URL like this. After this, we have to Go to Firestore database. Let's open it. Create database. You can choose any location, but we always prefer the default location. So click on next. You can choose any option, but we always use the production mode. Click on create. These are the basic and default credential, uh, sorry, uh, default configuration of Firebase. So it's a very easy and a simple to set up. Now go to one rules. By default, uh, this condition is the false mode, in the false mode. So we have to set it true and click on publish. Generally, in our documentation, we will provide you all the rules which we must have to add here. In the each and every product, default or uh, different type of rules are available for each products. So we can't add all the rules in the all the Firebase project. So you must have to see our documentation for rules, which can which can you copy from that documentation and paste here okay now go to authentication authentication uh, we must have to enable 
for login process so we always use the email and phone number uh, native provider like here so i am in enable email method after that i am adding the phone method okay you can also add other provider like google facebook if you want to add these are the basic configuration now after that go to firebase project setting You can see our web application is created and also all the credential is created. In the cloud messaging tab, we, we, uh, we are seeing this sender ID. So this is the important part of uh, documentation. Uh, sometime before Firebase using the latest API, which is now, uh, uh, now disabled, so firebase move on the api v1 so we are using the v1 api method for firebase notification and messaging so to set up uh, uh, to use v1 api we must need our sender id and a service credential file which will be json format so let me show you how you can download that credential file so go to in service account In service account, you can see in the Node.js tab, you can see all these credential and this button. This one, click on this button, it will be download a JSON file, which is the credential file of the Firebase, which we need to use in our notification setting in the admin panel. Let me show you where. See, in the notification, in our panel global setting we we will provide this section notification setting where we we must have to use sender id and uh, we must have to upload credential file which is the json format which recently we downloaded so you must have to add sender id which will comes from cloud messaging and uh, service json file which will be downloaded from service account so I hope you got it. So upload your credential file here and send it and then save it. After that, for main Firebase credential, which we must have to set in our env file. So in the general tab, go to web application. And here you can see all the Firebase necessary credentials. In the env file, you will find this type of all variable. So, in this all credential, you must have to add this all credential like API key, have to add API key here, authentication domain, authentication domain, database URL, database URL, project ID, project ID, storage bucket, messaging center ID, app ID in measure. So, please add, add all this credential to here. After that, your Firebase project configuration is done. So, I show you all the Firebase uh, project configuration and default setting. If you have any query and question, then please contact to us. Thank you very much.